When conducting a research and as part of the research process, we will always have to perform what is called a literature search. Literature search can be defined as a well thought out and organized search for all of the literature published on a topic. And because the process of a literature search can be a time consuming job, a well structured literature search is the most effective and efficient way to locate sound evidence on the subject you are searching. Such evidence can be found in books, journals, government documents, and in the internet. There are several reasons why you need to perform a literature search. First, to ensure that you have a true understanding of the topic you are searching. Second, to identify similar work done within the area of your research. Third, to compare with previous finding. Fourth, to critique existing finding and suggest further investigation. And finally, to identify knowledge gaps and propose further studies. So the objective of this presentation is to give an overview on how to perform a basic literature search in Medline using PubMed. So what is Medline? Medline is the U.S. National Library of Medicine, and it is the largest biomedical database in the world. It covers medicine, dentistry, veterinary science, healthcare system, preclinical science, nursing, and other biological science. Medline contains citations for 4,800 journals, and over 14 million records are indexed in Medline. Most of the records are from English language sources or have English abstracts. In order to search Medline database, we use PubMed. In other words, PubMed is a search engine for Medline. PubMed, produced by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, NCBI, and the National Library of Medicine, NLM. It's accessible worldwide at no charge, and all you need is a web browser to access PubMed. PubMed contains Medline from 1966 to present. It contains articles from some non-Medline journals, issues of journals published before their selection for Medline indexing, and it also contains old Medline from 1950s to 1965. We can see that PubMed is more comprehensive than Medline. This is how the PubMed homepage looks like. And as we can see, there is a database selection menu where you can choose between PubMed and other NCBI databases. There is a search box where you can enter your search terms. There is also a link to PubMed Help and a link to Advanced Search where you can construct a tailored search and also links to a specific section of Help PubMed frequently asks questions and a link to more resources. But before we start searching for information, you have to develop a search strategy. A search strategy is a plan help that helps you to find the information you are looking for. Here are some tips on how to develop your strategy. First, identify the key concepts or key search terms. Second, determine alternative terms for these concepts if needed. And finally, you find your search to dates, study groups, etc. as appropriate. So let's propose that we have the research question, what role does pain have in sleep disorders? Our key concepts here will be pain and sleep disorders. And to search in PubMed, you simply enter the search terms into the search box. And you can see while you are entering your search terms, um, automatic suggestions will display as you type your search terms. You can click Turn Off to temporarily disable the auto suggest feature. PubMed, we can see that PubMed automatically answers and phrases together. 
Using the search term pain and sleeping disorders, our search retrieved 5,495 records that contain both pain and sleeping disorders, and this is a large number of records. In order to limit our search, we use the filter, which exists on the left side of the screen, and we can limit our search according to article type, text availability, species, languages, and age groups, as, men, as well as many other options. We can also use Boolean operators such as AND, OR, and NOT to combine or exclude keywords in the search. And Boolean operators must be entered in uppercase. The Boolean operator OR used to retrieve a set of citations in which each citation contains at least one of the search terms. Example, football, or hockey, or soccer. The retrieval is all citations that include any one of these terms. NOT retrieves a set from which citations to articles containing specific search terms following the NOT operator are eliminated. Example, arthritis NOT letter. The retrieval is a portion of a total retrieval for arthritis. And used to retrieve a set in which each article contains all search terms. For example, Salmonella and Hamburger. The retriever is only the overlap of the result for each term. Those records in which both terms appear. And is a default operator used in PubMed. Nesting concepts. When using multiple Boolean operators, they are processed left-right. For example, salmonella and hamburger or eggs. This will retrieve articles that include both terms, salmonella and hamburger, as well as records with the term eggs, whether or not they contain the other two terms. To change the order in which terms are processed, enclose the terms in parentheses. The term inside the set of parentheses will be processed as a unit and then incorporated into the overall strategy. Example, salmonella and hamburger or eggs. And this will retrieve records that contain the term salmonella as well as one or both of the terms hamburger or eggs. There are also other number of, there is also a number of additional tools that help you building your search in PubMed such as the MeSH database enables you to find and search with MeSH vocabulary terms. The NLM catalog journals enables you to find information about journals and search these journals in PubMed. Clinical queries are prefabricated searches that can help you narrow your search to clinically relevant literature. You can also search PubMed by author name. You simply enter the author's last name plus initials without punctuation in the search box and then click the search button. For example, Harris A.D. or Zakaria R. We can also search by journal name by entering the journal name or abbreviation in the search box.